Okay, welcome back. Last little segment, a tree. This is the jacaranda. I think we're just about ready to put it in. Just before we do that, just a couple of little things like that. Little things like that can make all the difference. Look, okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put the, uh, how it really is, and that is, well, I'm gonna use a big brush here, I think. I'll muck around. So we're gonna use a three inch brush just to get the basics of the colors on the painting. So, I know we're covering up a lot of we've just, what we've just done. It's just the way I paint. I just think it's easier to do it that way than go around things and have to worry about coming back later and going over it. So, there's the basics of our jacarina tree. All we've got to do is turn it into one now, and that's the easiest way to do that is to just... So what I've done is I've actually created... That's a bit dark, that there. Created the tree by painting it as it really is. In other words, you put the foliage behind the trunks. I know we put them on first, but that was actually a mistake or a demonstration what to not to do. There you go. And then you put the trunks on, then you put the foliage on the front. So that's how it is in nature. So if you paint it that way, it's probably more likely to look like a tree than if you do it in the other way. I don't know, it's just the way I do it. I don't know whether it's right or wrong, but it seems to work, so stick at it. Okay, needs a few lights on there now. And hopefully we'll get time to put in a little tree, a little uh, fence line and everything here, a little gate. See how we go. Try and get as many things in as we can so that everyone can have a bit of fun and experiment. Just hit those spots like that. Not everywhere, you don't need it everywhere. And just those highlights up the top there. There we go. Starting to look good. We're gonna go over a, few, a bit of this again in a moment. So we've got our two dark colors down, one in front, one behind. And now we can go over that with a little bit of light, and that is our light colour. So we mix that up. I know you want to know how I mixed it up. Okay, what I've done is I've got a little bit of ultramarine violet, I've got a little bit of alizarin crimson in there, and a fair bit of white. So you can play around the colour. Look, I used to go out and get, uh, we got some in our front yard, so I used to actually go out and get the leaves, so you knew what the colours were. But just be careful because the leaves change colour as they get through the season. So now we're just putting highlights on this. And we know our light's coming from left to right. Needs a little bit more in there. I want this to stand out against the dark colour we've got behind. So that's the effect we're after. There we are. Looking good. And we can just have a look at the tree, just see where it needs a little bit to try not to go over everything important in the background. Look, if you do, you can always put it back in. Don't, no need to fret or freak out about it. It's only a painting. And in fact, you can even come back and highlight a few things with a smaller brush. Like so. If you're not happy with it, come back with a smaller brush. Look, see what you can do. You just pick out a few little areas that need a bit of highlight, like that there. See that? That needs to come out a bit more. All right. Give that a bit of a clean. And in fact, I think I'd be inclined to come down just a little bit over here as well. And also in front of that tree. Okay, we've lost that tree in the background there now, so that doesn't matter anymore. And got a little bit of muck there. So we're just going to pick up a bit of light, even a bit of white on the side of the trunk of the tree here. And just going to highlight it now. The old jacaranda trunk. Get that out of there. Get some darks in. Okay. And some roots as well, just get that in there. Okay. And tidy up the little thing. What I'm going to do is just go over this area now with these colours that we've got from your painting, from your tree, and just pat them down over there, over the ground. Just 
just even over here. You're going to have them around the place, so get your fan back if you want, and get those leaves all over the place. They tend to drop everywhere when it's time. So if they're on the ground in the painting, geez, they look good. It makes all the difference. So get those in. There we go, I've got a few minutes left. We'll get our gate in here. Also pick up one of these brushes and put in a little bit more of that green back over in here. In the dark. And a little bit of light on this one. I reckon we could break that up actually from the background. With a bit of that colour might be better than what we had. A little bit on that side as well. Okay, let's see if we can get our gate in here. Let's see what we can come up with quickly. And we've got the gate over here. Doesn't matter. Play around with it. You can even have that coming back over there. We're going to have a little bit of a gate here so we can use our fine liner. And come down like that, at about the halfway mark. Great to practice these, and this one, we'll have it open a little bit, so we'll come down there, and a little bit short this time because it's open, and straight back up there. So, we've now created a little gate even put a little bit of mesh on it there. You don't need it everywhere. Hit it where your lights are with your darks, and then hit it with the darks where the lights are. So you can see where the colours are. So we can just go like that. All we need is just give the effect. We don't need it over the whole painting. In fact, where it's light, we need to put a bit of light. So we're just about down here, a little bit of light on there. Around there as well, in some of them dark areas. Don't forget, all these paintings on the website. Wineclements.com, all for sale. Proceeds are going to the RACQ Care Flight. So don't forget them, very important people because they look after us. And we're going to put in a little bit of shadow here now just for that post. And a bit of a shadow for that as well. So we've created the effect there of that jacaranda, the little gate, a little bit of colour on the ground, just about ready to sign it. And we're going to put the frame on, of course. So we'll sign it over here. Let's have a quick look. Looks okay. We're going to step back and have a look when I'm finished. Always a good idea. Step back, check your painting out, see if it needs any little touch-ups, or there's always something you'll find you're not happy with, or you may not see it, but someone else will. But don't forget these safe products, folks. They're great. Kids, family, schools, everything. It's the greatest thing out. Here we go, just about done. We're gonna put the frame on. Should look good. Little jacaranda gate painting. Finished product. There you go, another jacaranda to play with, little scene. Look, have a bit of fun with it. What can you hurt? So um, thanks for watching our studio and we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.